calculating free energy state change at standard conditions. So in this problem it says use the data provided to calculate the standard free energy the standard free energy change for this reaction. So here's the reaction given to us below and we have to use this equation when we have the standard conditions for the reaction and we want to find the free energy change. We're going to use the sum of the formation of the standard free energy of formation of the compound. So this is the standard formation free energy. We're going to use the sum of the standard free energy for, of formation for the products minus the sum of the standard free energy formation for the reactants. And that is going to get us the, free the standard free ch energy change. So when I do this equals we see that there's one mole of each of these gases. So each one of these is going to become, I would just multiply these by however many moles, and when I multiply by one, all of them are going to end up being 50, the same. So 52 kilojoules, negative 137 kilojoules, 87 kilojoules, and so on. So we're going to use the products first. We see that NO is our first product, so it's 87 kilojoules plus, we're going to have plus negative 394 kilojoules, because we only have one mole of it, minus the sum of the moles on this side. So 52.0 kilojoules plus negative 137 kilojoules. And when we do this calculation, we get the answer as negative 227 kilojoules. And so that is the answer to our problem.